Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top five organizational homeschool items. If I could only pick five things, these are what they would be to organize our homeschool space. So if you enjoy this type of content and other homeschool and lifestyle content, please remember to subscribe and let's get into it. All right, so I'm fairly minimalistic when it comes to organizing things. I like everything to have a spot, but I use the same types of things to organize everything. <laughs> I don't have a huge variety of things or anything like that. And so actually when I was making this list, it was slightly hard to even come up with five things, <laughs> but I did it. And I am gonna share them with you because they really do change how everything functions for us and keeping everything organized, especially with six kids. Sometimes things get really crazy, not sometimes, they're always a little bit crazy. And so having things exactly where I know where they are, that they're easy to get to, <coughs> excuse me, is really important for me. So that's why I came up with these items. So hopefully they will be helpful for you as well. So let's start talking about them. Okay, so the first thing is carts. Carts to store things, and I'll insert B-roll because that's just easier for you to see, but here's the top of one <laughs> right here. So we have three of these carts, and this is a recent thing within the last year, year and a half maybe. I can't remember exactly. And I store our homeschool, like our morning basket type stuff all in there, things we're currently using for homeschool. I have one cart for that. I have one cart that, this is homeschool adjacent. <laughs> it has all my craft supplies because I enjoy doing crafts. And so it has all that kind of stuff for me, all the paints, paint brushes, <laughs> sanding paper, all the different things that I use in it. And then I have, the last one is all my kids art supplies. So before I kind of had their art stuff spread all over like our homeschool closet and it was hard to just pull it out and be like, okay, let's do an art project. And it wasn't always easy for them to get to. It might be too high so that the toddlers wouldn't get it and all this kind of stuff. So I just put everything on a cart and we can just roll them out. I believe I got these carts off of Amazon. I had tried some maybe from Michael's or Joann's to begin with, but those ones couldn't handle how much stuff I put in them. <laughs> They weren't as good at handling the weight. Sorry, my voice is really raspy today. <clears throat> I read a really lo long time this morning in our read aloud, so my voice is already struggling. <clears throat> so, sorry about that. But I have really liked these ones from Amazon. I feel like they are much better quality than the ones that I got from Michael's. And yeah, they just seem to, I'm not putting anything crazy heavy on them, but they just seem to handle the weight a lot better. So this is one of the things that has just been so great. And we currently don't really pull the cart out, especially for our, like our morning basket stuff. I usually set everything out just because my toddler will get into it if it is out by our kitchen table. And so ideally that's the, that's the goal. And when he was a little bit smaller and a little more contained, it was easier for me just to pull the whole cart out and then if I needed anything off of it, because it has tape or some bookmarks and it had like speakers and things like that. So if I needed any of those things, they were already right there. I didn't have to run back here and get them. And so that's what made it nice. But currently we're not doing that because he would just be pulling everything off of it. So I really, really enjoy the carts. I feel like they have helped so much in keeping things organized in one spot and things that, are, that we need quite a bit but I just didn't want them scattered all over the place. So that is my first organizational item. My second one is magazine holders for books. So these ones are off of Amazon. Oh, I almost dropped it trying to grab this other one. This one's heavy because it has more books than it. So I just pulled out a couple. That one says Halloween. This one's birds. So it has some of like the good and the beautiful curriculum in them in it. But these ones are off Amazon. You could find other ones you like. These ones are nice because they just collapse. And so if you don't need them, you know, or need all of them at the moment, you get rid of some books, you reorganize things. They're easy to store. You're not storing like plastic containers that might be a little bit harder to find a place for them. And so I've liked these ones. I found some at Walmart that weren't as tall and we used those for a while, but again, they just weren't my favorite. I just prefer these and I like how the label is fairly easy to change. It comes with the labels for the amount that it gives you from Amazon. I don't know if it's like 10 or something. And then, you know, if you wanna change them, you'd have to have your own labels or cross it out and write something else or whatever you wanna do. But I really like the black ones too because 
if they get dirty, they don't show the dirt. <laughs> and so I just put our books in them and it makes it really easy when I'm like going into our homeschool closet or now I have some of these on our bookcase that's sitting behind you. And I can just see immediately like, okay, I want Halloween stuff or I want Christmas books or our Good and the Beautiful Science units are in a bunch of them so I can go through and see what we have. Or, you know, just some different curriculum ideas. We have some earth science ones, some that are all about space. And so it's really easy for me to just look at it and go find them. And now they're on some of our ones that are a little bit more common or a little easier for my kids to read on their own are on our bookcase. So they can look at them and be like, okay, this is all about mindfulness. If they wanna find a book in there, but then they can easily file it back in to the magazine holder and put it back on the bookcase. So all those books, Stay together and so that's been really helpful and I've used these for several years we've lived in this house almost six years it's been like five and a half years and I've used them almost the whole time we've been here because it's just been a really good way to organize and I also like that they're not see-through because then it makes the closet look a little bit cleaner you know it doesn't look super cluttered because you can see all the books in there so that is my second item. My third item is some sort of planner. So I just have a couple here to show you. I did recently talk more in depth about this planner on its homeschool planning for 2024 or something like that. I'll try to remember to link it down below. It just came out maybe right before this or two videos before this, I believe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the whole schedule, okay guys? But it, it was pretty soon. Like it's been pretty close to this one. And so this is an Erin Condren platter. And it has photos of my family. You can customize it. There's some different options, but this is specifically a homeschool planner. On her website, that's what it's called. And so you can go in, plan for homeschool. It has a tracker if you need to go through attendance. So having something to have an idea of what we're doing is helpful for me. I don't use this as much. I'm not as good of a homeschool planner, which I do mention in that video, as I am just a normal life planner. I will plan homeschool into our day. Like usually it's our morning chunk is our big homeschool time, like three hours. And then I put other things into my, into my day, into my block schedule. And that's where, this is the planner I use the most. And I'm really good at filling it out almost every single day. <laughs> This one, not so good, but this one, really good. And this is Jordan Page's Productivity Planner, and I really like this one. She has a few different options depending on what kind of layout you want, but it has your daily blocks here, and so you can divide your day into manageable like segments. And so that's what I do, and so I have like our morning block, like I'll have my morning block where I'm exercising, getting ready for the day, my kids morning block, which will be us doing homeschool together. And then, you know, afternoon, which is nap time, which is when I try to get a few other things done either for work or around the house or things like that during that time. And then we'll have like dinner time. And then after my kids are in bed, I also have a block of things I try to get done then. So that's what I use this planner for. So having something to keep us organized <clears throat> in our normal life, <laughs> is very helpful for me just to have it down on paper and then I can in this planner there's a place to like do a dump list basically of everything in your brain just get it down on paper what you need to do for that week and obviously you can keep adding to it during the week so then I can just look back and be like okay this is something we needed to get done where will it fit into our day so it takes a lot of stress off of me of having to keep everything in my brain of what we need to do so I recommend having some sort of planning system, whether it's on your phone, on a computer, on, you know, in paper, whatever it is, have something that you can plan. It just helps me stay so much better organized. The fourth thing is some sort of like pencils, markers, glue station. <laughs> so I have shown a variety of these over the last few years, and we used to have drawers we do have still have drawers for each of my kids schoolwork but i used to have like all their pencils and scissors and glue just in their individual drawers and they grab it and that worked to an extent but this works better <laughs> and this is one of those crafting things i was mentioning i get a subscription every month and so this whole bin was something they sent not with the containers these were just from 
uh, I can't even think what they would have been called, a previous one that I used. And I think it was just from Walmart. You know, they're probably like the silverware holders or something for when you have people over <laughs> and you put the different, you know, I can't think what they're called, forks, spoons, knives, napkins, those kind of things in them. So that's what these are all from. They're just containers from some of those things that I've like better homes and gardens or something from Walmart. I think I even got one that was like a planter one. And I think I did use it for herbs for a while off of Amazon. If I can find that one, I'll link that one down below. And so they have a metal tray that they sit in and so they can all sit in there. So that's what we had for a while. If you've seen some of my old like homeschool uh, room tour videos, you would have seen those. But then once I made this, I was like, oh, I wonder if those containers will like fit in there and they do. So that's what's in here. And I like this because if we're, especially lately, we've been working a lot at the kitchen table because of my toddler and not wanting him to get into everything. He's kind of crazy. He's driving me a little crazy. And so it's nice for them just to be able to come in and they'll grab it. You know, this has dry erase markers if they need scissors. There's a full container with glue. And so they can just grab what they need and bring it out. Or we can bring the whole thing out and they have colored pencils, they have pens and pencils. And so it's just really easy for them to just bring what they need and not have colored pencils all over the place or all over their drawer. And then when they need them, they don't know where they are or they're a complete mess. And then something else that I have in one of these containers, again, this is like a Better Homes and Gardens thing, I think from Walmart that's for like picnics or whatever, you know. But um, this one has markers in it. So there's a variety of options, you know, that could work for depending what you need it to be for. You could even just get a whole bunch of like vases, not vases, but like planters uh, for flowers. If you want that, you know, find some cute ones or paint some and you can store a whole bunch of your different pens, pencils, glue sticks, and those and just set them someplace that it's really easy for you to grab them. And I, this has been such a big game changer for us. It makes everything so much simpler. I'm not constantly looking for pens or pencils or glue or anything. Like I know exactly where it is and my kids know exactly where to put it away also, which is also very helpful for keeping organized. The fifth thing is bins and containers. Just having bins and containers to store stuff. And again, this will look different for everyone depending on what your space is, what you need, all that kind of stuff. I just have a few options to show you. So the first one is any sort of like cloth bin. I believe almost all of these are from Target and probably before we moved here, I ordered them online because we don't live by a Target. And so this has some science stuff in it. These are like the little atoms, happy atoms or whatever in here. But I have a bunch of different cloth bins in our closet back here that I store a whole bunch of things in Manu manipulatives like counters for math or some different art supplies, some different science things. So I have a bunch of those and I really like them. They're easy to pull out, see what's in them and you can have them labeled as well on the outside if you want so you know what's in all of them. Another thing I really like as far as a storage container it's just these Sterilite bins and they come in a variety of sizes. There's even ones that are like half of this size and there's ones that are deeper, which I also have the ones that are deeper. And most of these I've gotten off of Amazon. I know sometimes they're hard to find. They go in and out of stock depending on what size you want. But this one has like a whole bunch of STEM games in it. And then this one has a building game. <laughs> I don't even know what these are called, but I think it's a learning resources thing. What are these called? Play sticks. So a lot of times when we get a game, at least certain types of games, you know, some of our really good board games are still in their boxes, but other things, the boxes will fall apart and I just don't like trying to store them, you know, when they're all squished and when you pull them out, everything falls out. And so I needed something that was like, okay, same size, and sturdy and so a lot of things once they start to fall apart or whatever or if they're just taking up too much space because all the boxes are different sizes and they don't stack well i will put them in this type of a bin so that i can more easily store it so it actually saves me on space and it keeps everything better organized all right so those are my top five 
homeschool organizational items. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment down below what's something that you love to use to stay organized. I would love to hear your ideas. I love being organized. I'm a little OCD about it. And so I would love to hear what works well for you and what you like to do. And remember to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time.